Station, this is Houston. Are you ready for the event? Houston Station, I am ready for the event. Hi, Kate. This is Ellen Ochoa, and it's my pleasure to welcome some special guests here today in Mission Control. We have patients, families, and staff from MD Anderson Children's Cancer Hospital. And uh, as you know, this is part of a partnership between NASA, MD Anderson, and ILC Dover, the spacesuit developer, uh, to both raise awareness of childhood cancer and provide inspiration by linking the arts and sciences, and especially space. So I'm going to turn it over to Nicole Stott, um, retired astronaut and one of the leaders of the spacesuit art project. Thank you so much, Ellen, and hello, Nicole. Hello, Kate. It is so great to see you up there. Um, as I was driving in today, I think uh, uh, I was thinking about our um, emails and conversations about this project, and the one way that was really coming to mind for me was, was knowing that as I saw you on video today that we here are all experiencing our first real art exhibit on the space station. Absolutely, and it's some amazing art made by some really fantastic young artists. Yes, I, I would agree, and uh, we have three of those beautiful people here today on the floor of MCC uh, with a couple questions for you. And I, I know they're very excited to ask those. Um, again, thank you so much for your participation. Um, David is, uh, is one of our artists here today. And if you remember, you and David were the first two people to paint on that beautiful suit. Hey, David. Hey, Kate, how are you doing? Good. It is so great to see you, and I wanted to let you know that I found the spot that we both painted, and uh, you can see it's orbiting the planet at 17,500 miles an hour right now. I know I said I was going to uh, paint you the, the little Martian on the right side of your suit, but uh, um, some stuff happened, which is fine, but I, it was a, a lot of fun to actually paint it with you. I mean, I enjoyed that. Absolutely. And do you have some questions? What inspired you to become an astronaut? So I wanted to be an astronaut ever since I was a little kid. My list was always astronaut, biologist, and geologist. And uh, I've been really lucky that I've gotten to do a lot of those things. Um, but it's something that always struck me as uh, dreaming about space. And so I hope that as you guys were painting, you were thinking about space and you were thinking about orbiting the planet. And uh, I can tell you that your spacesuit has found a wonderful home up here on the International Space Station. That's wonderful, Kate. Um, thank you so much, and it was good talking to you. It is great to see you. And, and Kate, yeah, there, there is a lot of excitement down here. Um, and our next, our next artist is Tatiana. And I believe you might have met Tatiana when we painted that day. Um, she's a beautiful young lady, and she has a question for you as well. Hey, Tatiana, hello from the International Space Station. Hello, from you, hello to you, too. Um, my question was, that can you tell me what some of the new things you had to learn and were they hard for you? Yeah, that's a great question. We have to learn a lot of things to become an astronaut. And so one of the things that was most interesting to me was learning about flying and all of the kinds of engineering and mechanical work that we do up on the space station. We have to learn a whole lot of things. And sometimes it's a little bit hard to learn so many new things, but that's also kind of the exciting thing, 
So it's really enjoyable and really fun, I think, anytime you're learning about new things and new discoveries. Hmm. Well, that's kind of reassuring because I'm, I'm trying to learn to animate, so it takes a lot of work, and I'm glad that somebody else has had to learn lots of hard things. That sounds like a great project and very cool, too. I'm going to look forward to seeing some of your animations when I get back to the planet, okay? Okay. Thanks for talking to me. That was awesome. Yeah, we're hoping that Tatiana will help us animate some of the spacesuit artwork. And, and Kate, um, we do have several other people here on the floor. Um, our next artist is Jacob, who, as you know, also um, uh, is the, the founder of our signature move uh, for the spacesuit project, but I believe he has a question as well. Well, I want to say a special hello to Jacob. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How about you? Very you good, and I'm looking forward to your question. You um, so I've been really excited working on the spacesuit project. It's really meant a lot to me and my family, and um, I've been super excited to learn more about NASA and space exploration. But so I've got two questions. Um, what in your mind are the most important attributes for an astronaut to have? And what has working on this project meant to you personally? Those are great questions. I think it's really important for an astronaut to be curious. You just have to be curious and motivated for discovery and for research. There's so much to explore up here. Uh, you can see the planet every day, and it's beautiful. And if you're curious, we use long lenses to take photographs of the planet. Uh, if you're curious about research and interested in the research, it's an amazing world of discovery up here. And for your second question, this project has really inspired me. It was an amazing opportunity to get a chance to paint with you guys. I remember seeing this suit when it was just a blank canvas and all of you guys painted on it. And I thought about that as soon as we were unpacking Dragon, when we were unpacking all the cargo, I said, let's look out for this spacesuit. This is so important. And all these kids have made some beautiful art. We've launched it into space, and it's now orbiting our beautiful planet. So it's meant a lot to me. I was really inspired by this project and really inspired by you guys. Uh, thank you so much. Thanks, Jacob, and thanks, Kate. And I wanted to let you know a couple of the other people who are here on the floor with us. Um, we have... Uh, uh, Greg Box Johnson has joined us from Cases here on the floor today, and we're really looking forward to hopefully some future work with him on this as we tie the wonderful research that's going on with the space station to help improve life here on Earth, to help us explore further to this beautiful example of art and science and space coming together. And we have uh, David Graciosi, our ILC Dover um, man in command, who made so much of this happen for us. Uh, of course, on the Hope suit, our first suit, um, all of the wonderful people at ILC Dover quilted so beautifully the Hope suit together. And um, maybe someday Hope can be on station as well. Um, we'll cross our fingers for things uh, like that. And they will be helping us to build um, the third suit, Unity, that we just traveled. Ian and I traveled around the world to gather artwork from children at hospitals in some of the ISS uh, headquarters partner cities and really beautiful work that we brought back that will be quilted into that third suit, Unity. Well, I want to say hello to 
uh, Greg Johnson and to Casis and say thank you for the amazing amount of work that we're doing up here. The research is fascinating. Uh, the payloads that we have here, uh, there's hundreds of them, and it's phenomenal work on board. And I also want to say hello and thank you to ILC Dover. You guys build an incredibly reliable spacesuit outside. Uh, we've taken them uh, out the door twice so far. And uh, you actually build the suits that we use in the Biosafety Level 4 lab. So the third thing I can add to that list is a thank you for the work that you've done to stitch together and to build uh, these incredible suits for the Spacesuit Art Project. Thank you, Kate. And we also, from MD Anderson, we have um, Dr. Heifemeister here with us today, uh, representing all of MD Anderson for us. And, um, and I personally want to say thank you for the support that you give Ian uh, with the Arts and Medicine Program. Ian, and, Ian Sion is also here today, Kate. And I can tell you that uh, wonderful healing things are coming from from these art projects with the people working them. Um, I know for myself, like, like Kate said, the, the inspiration that comes from this is ginormous, in the words of my son. And so very thankful to have both of you here today. And then we could not have done any of this without the support of uh, Dr. Ochoa here, who um, has been behind the scenes helping us all along with this. But I have to say uh, also a sincere thanks to the ISS program. Um, Gordo is up in the control room again hiding and um, not down here, but uh, of course we need to high-five him. But we have Dylan Mathis and Joel Montabano here on the floor, and I just I cannot say thanks enough for allowing this to happen today, allowing all of us to come together working in this partnership that we have, and I look forward to even more beautiful things coming from it. Absolutely. I want to say hi to Ian. Uh, it's good to see you. And thank you to MD Anderson. You guys are incredible. Uh, it was really fascinating to visit your facility and really amazing to see what you're doing, both on the research side as well as the patient care side. Uh, it's incredible what you're doing for cancer in general and especially for pediatric cancer. Uh, I definitely want to say hi to Ellen and uh, to thank her and to thank the, the Space Station program and Gordo and Dylan and all of the folks that have made this possible. Uh, it's been a fantastic opportunity, I think, for these kids to get to see their art in space. So thank you from the Space Station. Thank you, Kate, and I think we're going to wrap it up. Um, as September is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, uh, this couldn't have happened at a better time. I know we have individuals and people from different organizations here that are represented as part of this project, but it is a much bigger thing than any one of us or the people that are here today. And again, very thankful for your participation and to see you up there displaying this beautiful artwork in um, what I believe is a very beautiful gallery behind you, um, the space station. Thank you so much, Nicole. And I want to thank you to every single kid who painted on this suit. You guys are artists. Uh, you're awesome. And you're inspiring to me. Thank you, MD Anderson Center and participants. Station, please stand by while we reconfigure video and audio communications.